Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victor catches Michael and Cole as Summer changes her mind in the act. Summer is seated with Nick and Phyllis at society, and they inquire about her well-being. Harrison is not experiencing nightmares as much and she is doing better but he still wants to be near her because the madman told him they no longer wanted him. We are managing. Peering at her, Phyllis asks, what's wrong? Who is Claire? Has she been coming around, Nick asks. Harrison keeps concerned about Summer even though she claims she has honored her word to stay away. She wants to vanish completely. Nick gets her sentiments. Since Claire is the reason Jordan entered their lives, it is simple to place the blame on her suffering child. Still, she wants him to be happy. He feels they ought to spend some time together. Just showing Harrison that she's safe could be all it takes. The boy might feel more confidence if they see one other on a frequent basis. Snarking, Summer says he sounds like Kyle. Is she expected to put her feelings aside? Does Claire have a right to work with a kid who belongs to someone else? It is her call, Phyllis assures their daughter. It should not be expected of her to trust Claire with Harrison if she is not ready. By nobody, not even Kyle. Talking at the tack house, Victoria and Claire say how wonderful it is to see Nikki back to her old self. Reminding her daughter, Victoria says she is not accountable for what Jordan did. Jordan saved us from never finding you. That seems like a fairly reasonable trade to me and I know your grandmother feels the same way. When Cole shows up, Victoria queries whether he took care of his business. I think so, he says, nodding. Stay close, Michael texts him just then. Things might happen quickly. Is his publisher following him about, Victoria wonders. Cole claims he has a long time till deadline. He seemed to Claire to be hiding something. What does she believe he's not telling her, Cole wonders. Claire figures his job needs him back. Not that I want you to leave. I hate to think of losing you so quickly, yet I only discovered you. Even Victoria would find that repulsive. Michael tells Nikki she looks great as they hug at the ranch. Lauren, too, will be relieved to be doing so well. The friend who stepped in at Newman Media is much appreciated by Nikki. Michael offers that they all go out to lunch right now. In your opinion, Victor? Victor feels Nikki needs some time to become comfortable. Nikki claims to be hungry and sick of living beneath a shroud of darkness. Then let's get started, Victor says. Michael promises to phone Lauren to arrange. He simply needs to sign the contracts that state, I'll meet you at society, one more time. Cole tells Claire and Victoria at the tack house he has no plans to leave them anytime soon. What was the subject of his call then, Victoria asks. Cole makes up the story that it has to do with prolonging his leave. He seems jumpy, Victoria thinks. Cole apologizes. Though nothing that will have an impact on them, he has a lot on his thoughts right now. Does he still think Jordan's death was related to her father, Victoria asks. Cole says, what use would it be anyhow? What good is it if Jordan has really disappeared? Victoria gets on board as well. Claire narrows her eyes and says, you said if Jordan's gone. Could she still be out there, does he think? Cole comforts her and counsels them all to just exhale deeply and count their blessings. He's right, Victoria believes, in that they should get over their jealousies and resume their lives. Claire seems to be skeptical. Harrison talks to Kyle at the park about the inability of chickens to fly. At his dad's assessment of them, the child bursts out laughing. Harrison suddenly takes hold of Kyle's leg and ducks away. He believes the witch is returning since he has spotted a woman who resembles Jordan. After the woman walks by, Kyle assures him that it wasn't the witch. Concerning Claire, Harrison worries. The woman who committed this is gone now, and never to return, Kyle assures him. Why doesn't mommy like Claire? Harrison asks his father. He worries she believes he is more fond of Claire than of her. Kyle says that Mama is just needing some time to stop worrying. They just need to extend their patience with her. 
Harrison wants to phone Claire and extend an invitation to come along. Kyle will check into his options. Nick advises Summer at Society to make the decision to hire a babysitter entirely on her own. Summer adds that Kyle owns it as well. She supposes her father still believes she is mistaken about Claire. Nick believes Claire alone has nothing to do with this. According to him, she is venting all of her pent-up resentment and hatred on Claire since she is unable to vent it on Jordan, the really bad guy. Frankly, Nick doesn't see Claire as a threat. Phyllis contends Summer shouldn't be made to work for her. Nick feels that she ought to release some of the stress, because he knows Harrison is noticing. All of them might benefit if she allows her to come around. About Claire, Summer feels something. Nick notes that Harrison feels compelled to trust her, and she ought to follow his lead. Now that Jordan is gone, let the negative things go with her. Michael looks around the ranch for the secret doorway. A fresh YNR mystery, perhaps? Claire and Victoria chat writing in the tack house. Victoria had other insecurities, but Cole never taught her how to ride. Now that Claire wants them to teach her, they both agree. Time to move, Michael texts Cole right then. He tells the women he needs to clear his plate of something. He truly is a man of mystery these days, and Victoria finds that amazing. Cole has some paperwork to complete before his leave. It is for you, as much as it is for me. In no time at all, he will be at the stables. It is late in the UK to be sending SMS, Victoria informs Claire as he leaves. Perhaps that is how Oxford does things, Claire muses. When Cole gets to the ranch, he shows Michael which panel opens to the seller's secret route. It still amazes Michael to think he is going to accomplish this. They go past a sensor as they ascend and descend the steps. Phyllis sip her drink at Society, while Victor and Nikki welcome Nick and Summer. They extend an invitation to them and Michael and Lauren to lunch. Does it include me? Phyllis asks. Yeah, even her, Nikki says. They agree quickly after Victor receives a phone notice, telling him he has to leave. Disappointed was Nikki. They arrived just now. Promises to return, he kisses her. About what was that, Nick wonders. Victor is being a mystery, Nikki says. Summer extols the virtues of seeing her grandmother. I want to see Harrison, Nikki says. Nikki is glowing, they say. Is your secret, Phyllis wonders? Alcoholism, Nikki says. Telling the redhead, she recently returned from rehab. She looked after herself and did the right thing by her family, and Phyllis finds that wonderful. Many congratulations. Salutations from home. Victoria and Claire confer about her horse by the stables. Claire thinks about her and her dad teaching her things, and what her life would have been like if Jordan hadn't snatched her from them. Victoria gives that a great deal of thought as well. She felt so emptied when they believed they had lost her. Reliving everything was traumatic, but the days, weeks, and years went by and she found she could think about her baby, Eve, with some appreciation. If not long enough, that miracle had been in this planet. She survived as the love remained in her heart. Now this miracle. Having all this mother-daughter time together with you. She would never take that priceless gift for granted. Although Claire knows what Jordan took from her, occasionally she forgets what Jordan took from Victoria. According to Victoria, she can never take anything from them again.